Hey, so what we're gonna do, I want the students to make a conduit bend that comes from this connector, has a box offset, goes back to the wall, has a 90 degree bend that stays away from the edge of this, maybe an eighth of an inch. Comes down here, has another uh, 90 in it, then it has another box offset to go into this connector. After we get done with that one, we're gonna have to do the same thing with this half inch conduit, and it has to be within the inside of that. So this doesn't leave us a whole lot of real estate to make these box offsets without it getting in the way with those 90s. So this is more challenging bend than it's usually perceived as. First thing I wanna do is get a measurement, see what it is from this box to the edge of this. I'm gonna go 13 and 7 eighths, okay? Ideally, it was gonna be 14 inches. Maybe the box has got moved or whatever. So I'm gonna go 13 and 7 eighths. First thing I'm gonna do is measure and I'm going to put a mark at 13 and 7. Then I'm going to subtract 6 inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is where I'm going to put the arrow on my bender. And when I get done bending this, I want to verify that against what it really is because it's supposed to be 13 and 7 eighths. But since these benders are, I don't know, school benders, they don't always line up perfectly with the arrow. And so if I make this bend and it's a little bit off, I wanna know that so the next time I go to make a bend, it goes in exactly the right spot. So I'm gonna wanna use a lot of foot pressure. I'm gonna mostly bend it with my foot and I'm just gonna keep this from letting it slip out sideways. When I get close to finishing this up, I'm gonna put my level on there. I'm gonna take a look inside of that level. Look right there, make sure that that is straight up. A little bit more. With the spring back, it's pretty. That's pretty. So after I get the first bend done, I'm gonna take another measurement on this board and I'm going to see what I need for the back to back. So I'm gonna measure from the back of this or the top of this connector to the bottom of that connector. Looks like I need 27 and seven eighths. Well, when I do this, I don't know if this is going to be exactly 13 and 7 like it was supposed to be. So right now I'm going to verify that against um, what the um, arrow was supposed to be. Okay. If this isn't 13 and 7 eighths, see it's a little bit short. So I'm going to want to add like almost a quarter of an inch to my bend to where I put that on the arrow so that it'll line up exactly right. Okay, and what was this measurement again? 27 and seven. So I'm gonna wanna add a quarter of an inch, 28, 28 and an eighth. So I'm gonna make 28 and an eighth an inch. I'm just gonna put it on the ground for this. Measure from the ground. So this is gonna be from the back of that bend to the back of this one is going to be 28 and an eight. Subtract six makes it 22 and an eight. So that's where I'm going to put my mark on here. I'm going to make this one go all the way around so I can make sure I can put it on the same spot on that bender as I did last time. Now when I put the bender on here, if I bend it the wrong way, it'll have the wrong measurement, obviously. And there's two things that I can do with the bender to make it go, but I'm trying to train these students to go off of the arrow for this set of bends. So I already subtracted the six inches 
I'm gonna put that on the arrow. And when I put this on here, this handle should be just above that. So when I get ready to bend this, this is going above that other bend. After I get it lined up, I don't want to have to fix the skier bend at all. Lots of foot pressure on this. This time when I get done bending, if this is a 90 degree bend and that one's a 90 degree bend, this will be perfectly flat. So I'm just gonna set this on here and look at that bubble on this level. Lots of foot pressure, right? Goodness. Then when I get done with that, it should be just right. Since I don't want this video to be too long, I'm gonna make a measurement from the back of that, make it the same length as this. I'm gonna cut it off. And then I'm gonna put both of these, I'm gonna put a box offset on both of these so that it fits in those nice and pretty. Should be perfect. 